Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8 in Eevee. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by creating these stairs. So click S, then X to scale the cube on the x-axis. And then let's turn on collision in the physics. And then click Shift D to duplicate. And then Shift X to move the duplication only on the Y and Z axis. And then click Shift R to repeat the previous actions. And as you can see, we have these stairs. So uh, now we're going to add the uh, sphere. So go to Add, Mesh, and then UV Sphere. And then click S to scale. And then click G, then Set to grab the sphere on the Z axis. And then G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then uh, click G, then Set to grab it on the Z axis again. And I click S to scale it down. And uh, now we have the uh, ball. So let's go into the soft body physics so that we can create the simulation. And let's start off by turning off goal. And then let's set the uh, bending value to uh, 1. The bending value is the bending stiffness, and by enabling stiffness, we set the uh, level of elasticity for the uh, soft body simulation. And then let's add the floor as well. So uh, go to add, then mesh, and then let's add a plane. And then click G, then set to grab the plane on the Z axis, and then click S to scale. And uh, then let's turn on collision for the plane as well. The next step is to bake the simulation. So select the sphere, then go to cache, and then click bake to bake the simulation. I speed up this part, and after a few seconds you have the simulation. And as you can see, it works. So uh, before we continue, let's uh, save the scene. So go to file, and then save as. And then you can save it wherever you want on the computer, give it a name, and I click enter to save. Okay, so let's add the uh, subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. And then go to object, and add smooth shading as well, so that we have a uh, smooth sphere. Okay, and then go into rendered view. And now it's finally time to set up the lighting and the render. So select the uh, light. Go into the light settings, change it into a sun. Let's set the strength to 15. And I click R, then set to rotate the sun on the z-axis. Okay, and then let's add a background image to make the ball look a bit more interesting. So world settings, and then environment texture. And I click open. And then you can download the background image in the link below. So let's just download the factory catwalk. And then go back to Blender and select the HDR file, open. And as you can see, we have the background image. And then let's select the uh, sphere. Go into the materials, new material. Let's use the uh, glossy surface. And uh, let's set the roughness to zero. And you can also add a color to the uh, sphere. You can obviously add whatever color you want, so just experiment with the different colors. And I decided to use an orange color for the uh, final animation. And then select the floor, click new to add a new material. Let's uh, add a glossy shader to the surface. And then I'm going to make it completely black. The next step of the tutorial is to set up the uh, camera. So click uh, numpad 0 to uh, look through the camera. And I click N and uh, lock the camera to view. And then let's go a bit backwards. And then find a uh, good camera angle for the uh, final animation. And make sure that the ball is within the frame of the camera throughout the whole animation, which uh, looks a bit better. Okay, and then select the camera and increase the range. So increase the end value so that the range of the camera increases. And then let's select the floor, click Shift D to duplicate. 
then R, Y, then 90 to rotate the duplication 90 degrees on the Y axis. And then click G, then X to grab the duplication on the X axis. And as you can see, we have a wall. We can also hide the overlay so that we can't see the grid and the light. And uh, let's also disable lock camera to view. And uh, this is what the uh, animation looks like. So uh, before we continue, let's uh, save the file and then uh, get into the output settings for the final animation. So uh, go to file and then save as and then click on the plus sign and then save. And then let's get into the output settings. And then let's start off by changing the frame rate to uh, 30 FPS. And then let's uh, select a folder for the final animation and you can save the final animation wherever you want on the computer. I'm just going to use the TMP folder, give the animation a name and then click enter to save. And then let's use the AVI JPEG format and set the quality to 100%. And uh, let's just take a final look at the animation before we start the rendering. I think it looks great. So uh, go to render and then set the display mode to the image editor. And I click render and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe.